everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome to our channel, EOS Marketplace News. Now for today in this video, I will be sharing with you uh, the latest price analysis, like November, um, the 5th of November, all right? The anal price analysis of your favorite token or coin. So I'm sure that you're really excited. So let's start. Now, guys, um, this Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, and Tron price analysis November 5. Now we are into the final two months of the year, um, which have historically proven strong for Bitcoin. So will the markets rally from current levels by the end, by the end of December? During a recent simulation of three econometric models by Greg Giordano and Panos Mordukotas, two models pointed to a rally at current levels, while the third pointed to a sharp fall. The most bullish outcome, outcome was a rally to $12,629.15, while the most bearish was a fall to $816.91. The third model projected a small rally to $8,573.56. So today marks the deadline for members of the public to submit proposals um, to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Commissions, or SEC, regarding its consideration of certain Bitcoin exchange traded fund proposals. A final decision on the ETFs will not be made until early 2019. Now, in its latest annual report, the SEC said that its focus is to reduce the amount of cryptocurrency-related scams. Now, if the SEC succeed in the, succeeds in this effort, it will be bolster confidence in the asset class and attract institutional and retail investors alike. How are traders positioned as December draws closer? What are the key levels to watch, both on the upside and the downside trend? Now, let's find out. First, BTC and USD. So Bitcoin is currently close to the moving averages, which have both turned flat. The RSI is also near the midpoint, which shows a neutral sent sentiment. Both the bulls and the bears are currently in weight and see mode. Positive news amid an air of end, uh, end of year. Expectation for Bitcoin could prompt bulls to attempt to break out of $6,831.99 and rally to the next overhead resistance at $7,400. Conversely, while markets remain largely stagnant and range bound, Pes uh, pessimism and re-estimations of Bitcoin's end of the year could prompt bears to attempt to break down from the critical support zone of $5,900 up to $6,075.04. Um, now, in 2018, <clears throat> the BTC and USD pair has held the $5,900 mark on many occasions, hence, Traders can keep a stop loss of $5,900 on their long positions. A break of this can trigger a number of stop losses, resulting in a quick fall to $5,450 and further to $5,000. Now for ETH and USD, <clears throat> the rebound from the support at $188.35 has carried Ethereum to the 50-day SMA that is acting as resistance. If the bulls sustain above the 50-day SMA, a rally to the top of the range at $249.93 is probable. Now, we are not suggesting a trade at current levels because the moving averages are flat and the RSI has just inched into the positive territory. The indicators do not point to a trend reversal. Now, the ETH and USD pair is likely to embark on a new uptrend once it is above $249.93, the traders can buy the close above this resistance. Take note, UTC time frame. <clears throat> Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bear sinks the price below $188.35 
and $167.32, all right? Next, XRP and USD. So guys, the tight range in Ripple has resolved to the upside. This shows that the bulls have the upper hand in the short term, so we expect the virtual currency to resume its upward move and reach $0.62 with a minor resistance at $0.55. Therefore, we suggested a buy and a breakout and close above $0.48, that's UTC time frame. So <clears throat> we wait for a strong close because in a downtrending market, this strategy keeps us away from the fake breakouts. However, when the markets become bullish, we will change the strategy and buy the breakouts as waiting for the price to close above a certain level can result in missed trades, right? So the 50-day SMA is trending up and the 20-day EMA has also started to turn up. Now the RSI has also risen um, into positive territory. All these indicators point to a possibly rally in the XRP and USD pair. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink the price below 0.425. Wow, guys, this is a good um, news for Ripple. Next, BCH and USD. Bitcoin Cash has embarked on a bull run of its own. So buoyed by fundamental news, it has risen sharply from $408.0182 critical support. Now a breakout of $488 invalidated by um, the descending triangle pattern. Usually when a bearish pattern is negated, it is a sign to go out and buy. So the pullback on the BCH and USD pair picked up momentum above $488 and quickly reached the overhead resistance at $591.41. So if this level is crossed, the next target on the upside is $660.0753. So traders who are long can keep their stop loss at $400. So the RSI has reached the overbought zone. Therefore, a couple of days of consolidation is possible. Now, after which the digital currency should resume its recovery and try to break out of $660.0753. All right. <clears throat> so that's for Bitcoin Cash. Next is my favorite, EAS and USD. So EAS has risen close to the midpoint of the time range of 5 of uh, 5 and $6. So both moving averages are flat and the RSI is just above the 50 level. So the current bounce from the $5 might carry the EOS and USD pair to $6, above which a rally to $6.8299 is probable. So if the bulls fail to scale the $6 mark, the range bound action will be extended. Now we anticipate the digital currency to start a new uptrend on a breakout above $6.8299. Now the target levels to keep in mind are $9.1668 and $11.4. So traders who are holding long positions can keep their stops at $4.90. Okay, guys, take notes. You can um, keep your stop at $4.90. Okay, now XML and USD pair. So guys, Teller has broken out of the moving averages. It is currently attempting to sustain above the downtrend line of the descending triangle. We anticipate strong resistance in the 0 0.24 to 0 0.27 dollar zone. Now, if the bull sustain above the downtrend line of the descending triangle, it will invalidate the bearish pattern, which is a bullish sign. So above $0.27, we expect the XLM and USD pair to rally to $0.36 with minor resistance at $0.304. Traders can profit from the rally by initiating long positions on a close above $0.27 and keeping the stop loss at $0.20. Next, LTC and USD. 
So guys, the bounce from $47.246 and $49.466 support zone has carried Litecoin to the 50-day SMA, triggering our buy recommendation made in a previous analysis. Traders who have entered long positions can maintain their stops at $47. The bears might provide stiff resistance in the area between the 50-day SMA and the downtrend line of the descending triangle. Traders can book partial profits near the downtrend line and hold the remaining position because a breakout of $60 will invalidate the bearish pattern and can result in a rally to the top of the range um, at $69.279. Okay, so the LTC and USD pair has been stuck in the $49.466 to $69.279 range since early August. So if the bulls clear to overhead resistance, we anticipate a new uptrend to start. Now guys, therefore, positional traders can go long on a close, up, a close above $69.279. All right. Next, ADA and USD. So the bears could not capitalize on the breakdown of the symmetrical triangle. Cardano found support at $0.068989 and bounced from there. It has again entered into the triangle, invalidating the breakdown. So this is a positive sign. Wow. If the bulls push the price above $0.082207, the ADA and USD pair might rally to the minimum pattern target of 0 0.114618. Yeah, 114618. Aggressive traders can buy a close above 0 0.082207 dollars. <clears throat> Excuse me. With a stop loss place below the intraday low of thir uh, October 31. If the price struggles to break out of $0.094256, the stops can be trailed higher or the positions can be closed. Next, XMR, XMR and USD. Monero had rose above the immediate resistance of $112.44 on October 4. If the bull sustain above this level, a rally to the top of the range is probable. Above $128.65, the upward move can extend to $150, which will act as a stiff resistance. So guys, if the bears push the price below the 50-day SMA, range-bound action might continue. So <clears throat> the XMR and USD pair will weaken if it slides below $100.453. Let's hope not, right? We shall wait for a new uptrend begin, begin before recommending any trades, right guys? Just wait, be patient. Now, last but not the least, TRX and USD. So Tron has reached the midpoint of the $0.0183 to $0.0281521 range. So it has risen above both the moving averages and the RSI has also climbed above the 50 level, which is a mild positive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though the movement inside the range is random, if the bull succeed in sustaining above the moving averages, a gradual climb to the top of the range at 0 0.0285521 is probable. A new uptrend might start if the price scales above $0.03. If buying dries up at the current levels, the TRX and USD pair can slide to $0.0213479. A breakdown of the support can retest the critical support at $0.0183. All right. So guys, that's it for the latest and current update on your favorite crypto and coins so guys when you visit preferredcurrency.news then please 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 don't forget to subscribe all right and you can also be you can also be one of our affiliates okay just click this link right here and 
Um, it will show you the instructions on how to become one. Yes, you heard me right. So guys, please visit preferredcurrency.news and if you subscribe, you can have two um, paying methods. Using your preferred method, guys, it's up to you. You can use PayPal for a monthly recurring, that's 15 Yes, $15 per month yet. Or you can use the Coinbase option for only $180 annual subscription that's to be paid with your favorite crypto. All right. Now, if you like to contact the, mon the man behind Preferred Currency News, you can contact Donald Lewis or Donald the Guru. His number is 1801-601-8105. You can add him on WhatsApp, 1801-471-6939. You can add him on Skype. His Skype ID is Donald.FCDA in capital letters. Um, you can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. You can join our Telegram channel. It's PreferredCrypto.News. And, of course, you can... Um, PM to Donald Lewis at Preferred Crypto on Telegram. Alright, so but if you'd like to have an easy life, you can just message here. Your name and your email is required and of course your message. Alright, and just hit send. Yes. Alright, so guys, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Yes. Okay. Guys, please subscribe now so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates and we will be sharing to you this will be a secret okay i will be revealing this secret um maybe for yeah i've already revealed uh, the this a secret from my past um videos but okay 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 here um i will be sharing to you a glimpse of what are you uh what will you be getting if you subscribe to our channel now you will get a newsletter every day okay on the newsletter you will have the um you can have the article of the day and some websites that you can um that you can refer okay and yes this the donald's research list guys so the Donald's research list is the secret that I'm um, that I was talking about earlier because the Donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet but only here at Preferred Currency News. So, what is in the Donald's research list? On the Donald's research list, it shows the status of the coin. Yes, you heard me right. It shows the status of the coin every day. So, if you can, if you will subscribe to our uh, pref uh, to preferred currency news, then you can have a copy of this spreadsheet every day, and we will be sending the information via email. All right. So, guys, I know that you really want more and you want to know more. So, go ahead and visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now. And you will be get, and you will be getting more and more and more. All right. So that's it for today. Now this is Alex again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a comment on this comment section. All right. So bye guys.